So in today's podcast, we're going to be talking about some historic Asian art. Let's get right into it. So, historic Asian art. Historic Asian art has been making many things from paintings to pottery, but today we're going to be focusing on this right here. This is a pottery piece. It is made out of porcelain clay. And so what they did is they would form, put, slap some porcelain on it, form it into this little dish like jar type shape. And then they would design it by putting these little, these little fish and sea life as you see on here. So what I see in this art is that it is modified to be hollow so that way you can put stuff in it and it has a mix between natural and cool colors with the cool colors being the blue and the natural being the white background and it offers a smooth shiny fixed texture at the, or finish over everything that's been made so the reason why i think this piece is successful is because you know historic asia asia and the continent of asia is where everything started everything's made from asia or not everything but most everything's made from asia it dates back to way before america was discovered before the 1400s and so this piece is successful because pots are were a good use of storage back when back before they would make like cabinets and all that stuff people would store plants food water just basically anything they could into like these mul they were multiple sizes too like I mean, small big whatever they would fit anything they could put in these pots and then it shows like the creative creativeness of how they thought back in the 1500s since this pottery piece was made way back then and it just shows their how creative they were and it also gives a base on how Asian art started to where it is now. And so, yeah, that's the reason why I think this piece is successful. Like I said before, the overall theme of this piece is aquaticness or aquatic life with the the multiple fish being around it and then it looks to be some like seaweed or some stuff on it and, and flowers. So, and it's a really nice blue gradient it goes from light blue to dark blue, and it's just a really nice piece of art. Well, that concludes this episode for Historic Asian History. And on the next episode, we'll be talking about contemporary Asian art.